Top news is your election headquarters and today four Port Arthur City Council members were sworn in following the May election. They're ready to begin serving the community. However, there are still two races that need to be decided. They're for Port Arthur District 3 and 4. And next month is the runoff election. 12 News reporter Kayla Chote was at City Hall today. She joins us from the 12 News studio. Kayla, what do these leaders hope to accomplish? Brenda, four newly elected city council members have just promised to invest in Port Arthur. That's their number one priority, but the full picture is not yet painted as there are still two seats voters must decide on. Billy Lewis Jr. was sworn in as a Port Arthur District 1 representative. He is a seasoned politician and passionate about flood prevention. And we're going to solve the flooding problem on 17, 18, and 19th Street on west of Houston Avenue. There have been flooded. What we're going to do, we're going to connect west 19th Street to east 19th Street. Tiffany Hamilton served as District 2 representative from 2014 to 2017. She is back and ready to leave behind a legacy of recruiting businesses to Port Arthur. She says the best way to do this is to improve staff communication. To make sure that we are keeping integrity within our city government and offering the opportunity to be able to open communication between the city and the citizens, to offer the opportunity for young, vibrant, visionary type thinking to be on our council. Thomas Kinlaw won a District 5 at-large councilman seat. He forfeited a third year as a District 3 council member because he wanted to help the entire city and continue infrastructure initiatives. We're going to continue the street program that we've had, $50 million, five-year project. The drainage will come after that. We, In my particular district, District 3, we had a $16.9 million uh, drainage uh, grant that was given to the city. Donald Frank is the pastor of New Hope Baptist Church. He is an incumbent and thanks to redistricting, he will represent District 6. As an at-large council member, Frank did attend the swearing-in but was unavailable for an interview. You can vote early in the runoff election from June 12th through the 20th. Election day is June 24th. For more information about voting, head to our website. In studio, Kayla Shote, 12 News.